This video for the night, I forgot to show you myself what the pet saddlebags look like on the bike. It's not going to stay here. I just needed light. So my tent and stuff is... Uh, there it is. Here I am. And, um... Yeah. So today was a really good day. Um, oh, well, actually... Oh, look. Most of the day was pretty meh. I... I'm happy I didn't come here straight away. I would have been bored shitless. I'm happy that I had to do a few jobs before I left to come here. Because I was bored shitless even when I got here. I was just hanged out at the fancy ass restaurant. And uh... <laughs> I could only be on that table for an hour. So I had to move. And um... Yeah man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. But... Yeah, like, overall, this was very, so far, not, not exhilarating or anything, just exciting, but not for, just exciting because it's been different and I haven't been at home playing computer games, and, oh, there's a Ferrari game, apparently, today was a Ferrari drive, and a bunch of Ferraris were driving today, and all the drivers look like middle-aged men. You know, like how they say people have middle-aged men crisis or whatever. But they all look like middle-aged men or, or, you know, they look like 60, 70, you know what I mean? And they've all got like young girls next to them. Could be a sibling, could be probably a partner, I have no idea. But I reckon that fits the Ferrari stereotype. You know, like, not Ferrari, but just supercars in general. Just old men with young girls with sports cars, you know? They're all like fancy drinking fancy champagne and little glasses and everything like yeah but I talked to a few good guys um motorbike people not Ferrari people um I would love to talk to the Ferrari people but they didn't even acknowledge me doesn't really surprise me I guess oh this pig doesn't go down very strange Whatever. I have passengers anyway. Um, I don't know. It was a, but I enjoyed today. But if I had to rate today, well, I'd probably give it like a five, maybe, maybe, maybe a four out of ten because I didn't do anything. I was just helping out family and doing a job. And then I got here, which was a, look, it's a Grom, you know, it's not fast, so it was an interesting slow ride, but no problems occurred. I dodged the rain, the rain that I did get was only a little rain. Uh, when I got here, the dude in that building, the manager, he's super nice, super nice. I actually think he made my day. He's going to go park anywhere here, anywhere in this off-camping place. And I could even stay here for as long as I want, as long as I get out by, like, this time tomorrow. Which won't be happening, so I'll be leaving by then. Um... Yeah. Um... What else can I say? The restaurant was very nice and fancy, but $26 for a burger. All up, like, burger, a Coke, and a pineapple juice, because I... Because why not? Cost me... I don't know, $35, nearly $40. But, uh, you know, can't complain, can't complain. It's, it's a new experience, I guess. It's a whole other experience. Oh, look, you got a selfie too. Um... God, I just want to leave you here, underneath here. Um, let's just check out the showers. Because I can. Um, my bat phone battery on this Galaxy is really good, 61%. Very happy with that. I've been using it and singing and everything.
Oh, it's not too shabby. There's more down there. Whoa. Um, so yeah. That's it. I better go because I am trying to save my battery. Anyway, can't wait to record me going around the track tomorrow. Be just good experience. Even though we're not gunning it, we're just going for a cruise around the track. It'll be good fun. I love you, Grommy. You're a good boy. And, um, yeah. I'll see myself later. Bye.